This is Acton Rec's budget meeting, February, what are we, 21st, 2021. Um, calling it to order. All right, first thing we have is our, well, start fresh with our budget. Um, what I did was I went through last year's budget and this year's budget and I jotted a few things down to try to get us at some port, some sort of a um, starting place. Dan, are you willing to do the notes for this? And yeah, um, I can, so I can do that. Um, did you send out that email? What's that? Did you send out the email with the minutes from last year's budget? I sent out an email. I could not find last year's budget until just about an hour ago. Um, I don't even have last year's budget. What I have is the minutes from last year. Um, I sent, yeah, I, I sent you all an email the other day of 2019 and 20, uh, 19 and 20 budget, not 2021. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to send this okay. other one right now. Um, oh, okay, oh. okay. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I get the minutes and send. Okay, so um, I think. Our best thing is to start with a breakdown um, of sports um, and um, supplies and um, just kind of go from there. So Dan, if you could keep notes of each thing that we all agree on, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, geez. So first sport would be soccer for 2021-22 um, because it starts in July. So oh, it starts that early? Well, the budget starts. Oh, the budget does. Okay. okay. So for soccer, we do need a porta potty. And it's been typically $70 for each season. Um, it, when I spoke to the woman at Potties R Us, um, she said that they would they try to honor those prices um, for things like the rec field and whatnot. So I would suggest putting in $70 for Potties R Us for soccer. Um, we need to, I'm not sure if we need more uniforms for soccer. Laura, I'm just, um, oh, not, Laura, sorry, not, to, not to interrupt you because I'm going to be here, there, and everywhere. I can run over your, your approved budget so you know where you're standing last year. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Somebody's got a pen. You just want to, I'm just going to give you the numbers that you came up with that yep. totaled the 23972 So 23972 is what you asked for. We took 3,000 yep. of that out of ex expected revenue. So you asked the townspeople for 20,972. All right. Baseball, softball was 3539. Basketball, 2100. Cheering program, 548. Soccer, 4110. Ice rink, 121210. Pride day, $3,115. Field maintenance, 8850 And concessions was a $500 expense. Now, the flip side of that, your anticipated revenues at $3,000 that you didn't ask the voters for because you thought you were going to come up with it, comes from $1,200 in receipts from baseball, $1,000 you expected from basketball, $400 from cheering, $1,000 from soccer, and that is it. So all of those totaled the 23,972, subtract 3,000 because we thought we'd have those revenues coming in. So you asked for 20,972. Okay. So I'm going to go figure out how much you've spent and I'll be back with you. Thank you. Um, Lori, last year, um, Carol had ordered all new soccer uniforms, actually. Yes. Um, and we were talking about purchasing um shorts to go with it oh that's a good idea um that's another i mean from the expense on that last year um sorry 
Sorry, give me a second. Shorts, they've got down 844 soccer shorts for last year. So we we would need to vote whether we wanted to purchase the soccer shorts. This may be a year since good year since we do have the money from um last year in the capital improvement budget. We could use that money considering we haven't purchased anything that was on last year's budget. So unless we purchase it now before, that was one thing I wanted to ask Jen. I mean, if we purchase the stuff for this year before, um, before the fiscal year ends, can we purchase it with this money and not I think we have to do it before June, the same thing that we had to do with the um, Langley coming. Before, right. Before it's over. So I think if we did that, that because it was appropriated from. It was already appropriated. So we, right. we, I mean, does everyone want to go ahead and order the things that they. I, I, I agree with that, Lori. But the only thing is, is about like how, what sizes are we going to order? Well, did they have that all figured out? Was that already all figured out? No. 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 Because we don't know how many players we're going to have. I mean, we can always order more, but then again, we don't know what sizes either. Unless we just got a huge assortment of... That's the only bad thing about doing it beforehand. But I understand we have the money, so we should go ahead and use it. But I just worried about the sizes because I feel like we're going to end up having to order more either way. But if we waited till the soccer season, the shorts wouldn't come in on time anyway, then probably. You know, don't we like, have to order it by July, don't we? Yeah, but yes. how would you know what sizes? Why would that be any different between now and July? Because you wouldn't know what sizes you needed in July either, would you? I think what we would do probably need to do is someone would need to go to the storage unit and get out the shirts and see what was ordered for shirts and compare those to the shorts. Okay. And kind of order that and then a few extras of a couple of different sizes to. Yeah. Because even like the little pre kers they're tiny. So we need tiny sizes and then we have some big kids too. So I think if we, you're right, if we match the shirts with kind of the, the shorts and see how many um, shirts we have and stuff. I think we should go from there. I think we should go through the shirts. Right, but on this budget or on next year's budget? I think we should do this. I think it's budget. It's already been appropriated. Uh, the, Let's the, do it. Okay, so. Right. <laughs> so it makes sense to, to just use this year's budget to buy them. And to purchase we'll them. Yeah, when Jen that, comes yeah. back, I do want to ask her that if, I mean, the town's going to be okay with us purchasing stuff, even though we didn't use, even though we didn't have the season um, this year, because it would have been last fall's soccer season that, I mean, their long-term goal was to get new uniforms completely, but, um, you know, will the town be okay with us purchasing those I mean now. I don't I think so um because we always have a really great turnout for soccer right yeah and the answer okay. is I, I can hear you from my desk the answer is yes so as long as we can prove that it's come out it's coming out of something that we appropriated for that purpose then the selectman will, will support that I'm, I feel confident in that okay awesome then let's do that um so with that being said I don't think we need a huge budget for soccer. Um, the goals, Jen, do you know anything about goals that were donated to us? Yeah, um, yep. So we had um, two sets of, uh, yeah, four sets of them actually that were donated. Um, but to be honest with you, they're really flimsy. Okay. Um, the nets, the nets need to be replaced. We definitely need some new nets. They're falling apart. Didn't we purchase nets the year before? I think the year before we purchased the nets um, to go on to the metal posts. But I'm ta um, talking about the little guys too. They also, uh, those ones um, were donated, but I 
I'm not sure what condition they're in right now, but I know they were kind of like real flexible. So in this, in, fine, this year's, but... in this year's budget, we did have 1,800 um, to get the junior goals, not the senior goals and not the, the youngsters goals, but the junior goals. That's a good idea because in, in all actuality, like the goals are, are you, I mean, used, you know, they're, you're going to have natural wear and tear anyways. So we might as well get them. Those we're are the goals, use. not nets. The, the actual goal posts? Actual goals themselves is what we okay. have a budget for, had a, have a budget for in this year's um, for $1,800. Lauren, where are you? I'm, I'm not sure where you're getting these numbers from. This is what's on the budget minutes that I was trying to send to you guys. Okay, if you could send those, that would be really helpful because I don't, the numbers that you've thrown out there, I have no idea what they're referencing to because I can't, I don't have anything to do it on my phone. That's the problem. Hold on. So, Carol. Oh, Sorry, guys. Do those goalposts go into the ground or are they? No. They move? No, they're removable and we purchased um, the sandbags for um, the bigger ones. Not last year, the year before. Let me try this again. Okay. All right, I just sent it. There should be four pages attached, guys. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. All right, so. Unless this, that money could be used for something else. Uh, well, but that's for this year. So we need to like really kind of hustle and try to get on like purchasing yeah. the stuff for this year if we're going to do that. Otherwise we could put it in for next year and ask the town if we could use the money that is in the capital improvement month funds for the things that were was already asked for through the town, I guess is. We could do it one way or the other. I think it would be better to get it done. The town had approved this budget. I think with everything that's still going on, they're going to be a little hesitant, especially since we didn't have a season last year. They're going to be like, well, why didn't you do it last year? We gave you a budget. So I think it would just be, it's going to take a little bit, like you said, working quickly. But I think in the long term, we already have approved, uh, allocated for these certain things. I think it just makes more sense to try to get them. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so with that being said, did you get that email? Did it come through? I didn't get it yet. I'm refreshing my page right now. The shorts are on I there. Anything yet. Goals, replace shirts. Um, so with that being said, we don't need a whole lot for soccer. For soccer, we would need ice packs unless we're going to put that all into a um just budget for um supplies for everything um that might be easier to do wouldn't it just to do that at the end for ice packs and then we could just do all the sports that are involved they had a budget of 500 to replace shirts etc junior goals was 1800 shorts 840 dollars um, number three balls, $30, which I believe, from what I remember, Carol um, was way under budget on balls. I looked up basketballs, but I didn't look up soccer balls price-wise. Um, so we need medals projected on what? We had for an income last year, we need about $400 put aside for medals. We were like between 380 or 380, I believe, and 400. The year, uh, hold on. Um, 
No, it was around 300 for, for metal. For 1920. Yeah. So for soccer, we would need, for the next year, I would put some money in for shirts in case we need to purchase more shirts in case we have an overabundance amount of kids. Um, so I would say maybe- Should we do shirt shorts? Well, it's how about- we going to get this year. Right, but you want a little bit of a cushion in your budget in case all of a sudden you get mm -hmm. 60 kids. Well, sure, I see what you're saying, so shirts 50 and kids. So I would say maybe put in five hundred dollars for shirts, yeah. um, shorts, shirts combination, just yeah. in case we need I, it. I, yeah, because last year we had people adding to soccer already, like three weeks already into the season. Right. So for soccer, I would put down five hundred for shorts. Is everyone okay? Uh, for uniforms. Yep. Okay. Um, I would do at least 350 or 400 for, um, end of year, uh, celebration. Does that include food, Lori? What's that? I'm sorry. Does that include? We're doing soccer only. Yeah. I'm saying, does that include the food though? No. Nope. Oh, we had the team nope. do food. it. So we had $150 towards each ceremony last year. And okay. the year before, we had gone back and forth on that. I think that was before you were on, Jenny. Some people yeah. felt that we didn't need to spend the money. Some people felt that um, people could bring stuff. And then it went back to let's uh, offer you know, pizza or something. So we did put in the budget for last year, the 150 um, in, for pizza and like a cake and then yep. asked people to uh, donate like paper goods and whatnot um, for end of year um, award ceremony. So we can do whatever we want. It's just, what's everyone's suggestion? I would suggest doing the 150 for a ceremony at, for each sport and mm -hmm. then... Yeah. Um, how much should we put in for balls? Let me see if I can find soccer balls. Do you remember, Jenny, how much soccer balls uh, were or how much you put in for I don't remember, but I know that she got all new. Uh, every last year, or the, yeah, when I coached, we, every team had a um, new bag of balls. The, I don't actually, she was short one, one, um, one set one size balls so we okay. had put that in it's a 30 dollar number three balls 30 dollars for number four balls number five balls 60 dollars but i do not i think the balls were so carol wasn't on um for this budget so i think that number is really low for the amount of balls that we would need um yeah. give me a second I think they were around five dollars a piece. I was gonna I say, say. Um, some of them the were, yeah, they're anywhere from five dollars to eight dollars. Um, well, actually, then if, if they're five, yeah, that wouldn't actually this year's budget had sixty dollars. $120 for balls. So um, I would put in probably like $100 just to replace some balls. Okay. Um, that way we have a somewhat of a budget for balls in case we need them. So 500 for you uniforms, 100 for balls. Um, is everyone okay with 150 for um, end of year yeah. ceremony? Yeah. And then medals, 350 to 400. Last year, the medals were, I think, 368 for soccer. So why don't we just pull up 400? Okay. 
Okay. And then with that being said, um, last year, what did Jen say? We had 1200 for soccer, um, for income. So we have to offset that amount. Um, I would say this year, possibly going down to a thousand. I'm my concern is when we start back up that a lot of kids have gone to other programs. It may mm. not come back to Acton. Um, I know basketball and baseball, a lot of children did go um, to other towns to play because we didn't offer anything. So I would be afraid to shoot too high with an income and then not have enough to pay for our what we need. So right. last year oh, sorry Lori, I thought I was gonna jump in there when you took a breath. <laughs> yes. All right. So um based on the the baseball, basketball, cheer, soccer, and ice rink and pride day, we we subtracted out the field maintenance because that's separate. Those first few items total fourteen thousand five twenty-two. Out of that fourteen thousand, you have only spent two hundred and thirty-nine dollars and twenty-six cents. We had a couple um, around Christmas. We had some Amazon bills. We had a party's arrest, and then we had the Santa Picks reimbursement. So we figured we were pretty much shut down from COVID in March. So June to December, we didn't do anything. So that whole fourteen thousand is sitting there now. Um, I, I'm I'm comfortable that I can get some support to buy some things, but I don't want to. You know what I mean? We're not talking. Spend it all, huh? You don't want to spend it all. Uh, no, I don't think that's clean budgeting. I mean, if there were some things that we planned on buying anyways, you know what I mean, that we can get a jump start in, I, I think that's the the right thing to do. Um, because you're just gonna you'll be able to spend it next year. We'll just have to appropriate it out of a different account. So like the soccer shorts, should we go ahead and purchase those now or should we wait until next year and put them on next year's budget? Yeah, and ask not, I mean, if, if, you, if they're uniforms, I would say definitely go ahead and buy the uniforms. What else are you thinking? The goals. The goals. And I'm not exactly even sure which goals they're talking about. Um, I mean, are you thinking that you might spend 3000 5000 Do you have any rough idea? Um, <laughs> after we... <laughs> After we're done going from sport to sport, we would probably have a better idea. Okay. The right. goals um, are eighteen hundred uniforms, shorts. It's eight hundred and something for shorts that they had down. Um, and then balls. Uh, you know, there's a couple hundred dollars replace shorts or eight. Are you thinking just soccer that you're gonna start? You're gonna buy some of this stuff, or are you looking at the other programs as well? Um, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm one. I'm thinking once we go through everything, mm -hmm. I'm not. So this is so vague because it just says basketball, softball budget. They pulled that forward three thousand five hundred thirty-nine dollars, but it doesn't say what the the the, rec, the board voted on. So right, we don't. Yeah, and we and that was the line item that we kind of talked about a little bit in the beginning. We don't require that much of a line item. Um, you know, if you tell us it's going to be 35, 39 on baseball, you know, during a presentation somewhere, someone might ask you how you got to that number, but we don't request that as part of the budget. So we, I don't, I can't help you with that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know they were talking about doing a, the baton cage. I think that was on the first budget that we never used um, for 1920. And then they were going to purchase them again in 2021. So that's probably where. They came up with Why don't you a higher continue, amount. Continue to go through your sports and kind of get an idea of, of how, what you, you know, a couple of things from each uh, from each sport that you might be able to to purchase now. Um, my selectmen are actually wrapping up a workshop on something else, so I'll pull the liaison out and kind of toss some numbers at him and see what kind of faces he makes at me, and I'll be back. Okay, perfect. Thank yeah. you. Okay. All right. So with that being said, so. Soccer, let's get back to soccer. So we need medals. We're at 400 for medals, 1,500 for ceremony, 100 for balls, 500 for extended more uniforms if need be. The um, 840, we're going to try to get uniform shorts for this time as long as selectmen say we can, and we won't have to put that on the budget. 
Um, I for soccer, I don't know of anything else. Does anyone else have any other? Do we need whistles I'm or guessing... anything? So I have whistles on um, just supplies. Okay, so that will do at the end. Okay, gotcha. And I'm guessing like the painting of the lines and stuff, that's just field maintenance, I would assume, or is that in part of the soccer oh, budget as well? you're right. Good one. Um, the paint, and that was expensive. Let me see if I can look up. It's really too bad we don't have this stuff. I know. I know we went through for, we went through, gosh, at least two cases of paint last year does anyone know what excuse me soccer field oh and also um socks and i tried to get a price socks for soccer we, we gave everyone a pair of socks, the soccer socks and uh, just bl plain black soccer socks. Does anyone else have mm -hmm. a... Um... Can anyone look up socks and see if they could get a general idea as to prices on socks? I can do that, like now? Yeah. Well, you know what? Oh, oh, I don't have it here. I have it down. No, nope, I might have it. Hold on. I'm not sure if this was soccer, $159 for the paint. I think it was a couple hundred dollars for the paint. It looks like on Amazon, you can get soccer socks from anywhere from like $8 up for youth soccer socks. Oh, wow. That's pricey. So here's uh, four pairs. $3.99. You got some for $3.99? I think the cheaper end. Well, there's, so there's um, I'm just looking, I'm looking like in bulk and area. Oh, good. So it looks like the cheapest ones I can see. I'm sorry, I lost you. Anyone there? He's, he's there now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dan, you're I'm muted. sorry, I don't know what happened. Am I now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, um, yeah, we can hear you. But so I think the, the lower price I'm seeing is three, and then they, uh, Carol said uh, there's some that are like five, six, seven, eight, depending on which ones you get. So I think the lowest we could get would be like $3 per pair, it seems, from the bulk places that I'm seeing right now. Okay, so if we, if we went happy medium, five, and we had 50 signups, I don't know what we had for signups. If we had 1,200, so we had 60 signups. Um, $300 for socks. Do we charge yeah. the kids to play at all? Yeah, yeah. there's registration. And how much do they have to pay to register? 25? Uh, it's been 20, I believe. I think it's 20. Okay. But I think mean, if you have multiple kids playing, the price goes down. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking 300 for socks and then 200 for the paint. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was yeah about $200. I think it was about $100 a case for the paint. And I can't find it online. 
Um, is there this is stuff that they talked about in their their meetings, right? Is there any way we can go back and watch those? Like know what dates they talked about and we could watch their meetings from last year and sure, you can in? go back and watch any of the budget meetings. Yeah. Because that might help because obviously they probably talked about it during a meeting, so we can do that. Um so at that cost, what including the socks and the line paint, the medals and everything we've talked at, we're at two thousand fifty dollars right now. Okay, that's not you know that's excluding the shorts and the golds. That's just the um, extra shirts and shorts, the end of the year celebration, the balls, the medals, the line paint, and socks. I think that's a pretty uh, as accurate as I can think of, and I would go down. Instead of twelve hundred, I would go down to either a thousand or eight hundred for projected income. Um, just because I'm afraid that there's not going to be as many people signed up. I mean, we might get fooled, and there may be way more people signing up because everyone's got cabin fever. So <laughs> once we can get out there, so what's what's everyone else think? What was what was the projection? Because the we have to offset whatever. We Whatever we think the income is, we're going to ask for X amount of dollars, and then um, we have to take out whatever our projected income is. And then that's the amount that the town would appropriate for us. So um, I'm afraid to, to say, you know, we're, we project that we're going to get $1,200 in income. Um, yeah, I would. I would go lower this year. going down. Yeah, just because of everything that's going on. So, do you want to? Do you want to? Does everyone feel safe with saying a thousand, or do you want to go down to eight or nine hundred? I think eight hundred. Eight hundred would be about 10, forty kids. Yeah. What? I don't know who just talked. I'm sorry. Jenny said a thousand. I said I think eight hundred. A thousand would be estimating about fifty kids and. 800 be estimating about 40 kids. I think if what you said is true and I don't know, I'd rather play it safe. With, uh... I'd rather play it safe, especially with the fact that we're not asking for extra things. And if we have anything extra, we would have a little bit more wiggle room um, that way. And I think 40 kids seems like a decent amount, especially, okay. again, we just, don't, we just don't know what's going to happen. And maybe we'll get more and they'll help us in the budget in the long run, but I mean, like you exactly. said, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, this whole, with everything that's going on in COVID, we, we still don't know what the soccer season's going to look like, you know? So then we're going to ask the town for 1250 on soccer? No, no, we still have to ask for the full amount, but then we, then you minus At what the, your projected okay. income is. Okay. Gotcha. I can, uh, I think on, I can show you like how they did it in 1920. Like, <laughs> <when we, laughs> I'll learn this. All all. Okay. Okay. I think we're good with soccer. Everyone, anyone else have any other things they want to add about soccer? I mean, you said socks, you said nuts, you said paint. We don't need cones. We got uniforms, you got awards ceremony, you got balls, you got whistles. I think that's everything for soccer. I can't really think of anything else. Um, flags for the corners, and those are all set, I take it. It's like for the, or do we not use flags? I don't think, I don't know. I don't think we've ever used, I mean, I don't, we didn't use flags when. And then I think, I think that's everything that I can think, is, think of for soccer. So I think we're good to move on. Okay. So from soccer, let's move on. The next would be basketball in cheer. Um, we can, where's my basketball? So it's gonna be the same thing with basketball. We need, we did buy shirts. We did not purchase shorts for basketball, just shirts. Um, we could do the same thing with purchasing. We could ask to purchase shorts. Is there basketball. money allocated for this year for shorts for basketball in this past year's it, budget? It, yeah. it doesn't say. All it says on here is it's there's $3,539 they asked for for basketball. Oh. 
So it, it the breakdown's not on here, and unfortunately, I, I couldn't get that. So um, it could be where the amount is that high. So I guess we could go with for balls. I know we did not get balls, and we do need balls for basketball. Mm -hmm. um, I looked up today, and they're anywhere from $12 to um, and up you know, up to 20 something dollars. Uh, why am I missing my papers? Hold on, sorry. Do we have anything budgeted for them from the last budget, from this year's budget? All this year's budget said was $3,539 in receipts of 1,200. So it was 3,590 minus 1,200 is what, you know, we could buy some balls with if we wanted to, if the selectmen thought it was let me just see so we'll put ball, how many balls do you think we need um two thousand three thirty nine that was without the receipt because we did not get any income either so we've got to keep that in mind um sorry just one second we had i've got 10 different things here Where is basketball? Sorry, guys. You don't have to worry about buying the nets or anything because that's the, the school buys, right? The nets, yeah, no, that's at the school. That's at the school, so we don't have to worry about any of that. It's basically just uniforms and the basketballs themselves. And I don't know, but whistles would probably be in the overall budget with the soccer budget. Um, I I. Sorry, Dan, go ahead. Oh, I was just, I'm just trying to, just going down. I can't, I mean, we don't, do we pay for timekeepers or the scorekeepers on the basketball or no? No. No. Um, I, so I no. What I would yeah. love to do is purchase a drill, a cordless drill, so that we can keep it in the building for, to high, or lower and higher the nets. Um, that would be in our overall, wouldn't it? Or would you do that through basketball? I would do that more through basketball because that's specifically going to be used for basketball. Is um, the school one? La last year, you, mm -hmm. most of the time, they had to be hand cranked. Okay. And well, then I guess that answers that. So, yeah, I think... I think it's balls and drills are the only thing, I mean, unless we wanted to do shorts, so balls, I guess. 500 for the balls um, at 25 balls. Okay. At, I, I figured it at like um, $15 and an average of 25 balls. Um, there are a few that are still good, but a lot of those balls need to be thrown away. Um mm -hmm. That might have been in the budget for this year, but I don't, that I don't know. Um, so we could either do ball, we could try to use the budget and get, uh, actually what they talked about doing was getting shorts for basketball and soccer combined. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That saves um, some money. You just get, yeah, you just get the basic plain black shorts now. Things are coming back to me. So. <laughs> you get the plain black shorts, and then they're used for both sports. So, yeah. I would suggest just not including that. Maybe uniforms, um, putting in an amount for uniforms. Uh, you know, we could go with the same five hundred for uniforms in case we need to purchase more. Um, Jenny, you know soccer. I mean, with the chair. Yeah, how at the last, you know, we were scrambling to try to get uniforms. Oh my um, god, we we had a way bigger, obviously, turnout than what we thought. Um, yeah. Um. Right. So what my hopes for that is that we that I can change out the new palm uh, because we have half new palms and half old palms. The uniforms are fine, 
um because we ordered those okay, last can year can we finish basketball first and then go back to then oh, go to the um okay, yeah. chair sorry yeah. okay so for basket <laughs> um so um for basketball we don't really need socks or hats or anything so i would just probably put in maybe 500 dollars for uniforms in case we need to purchase some more uniforms um and then 500 dollars for the balls the cordless drills i have some things here for cordless drills from like home depot they're like 60 yep. off 60 for yeah you know 75 so do you want to put in 75 dollars want a good, a good one okay so they go up from there i mean you can get them for 100 bucks you can get them for you know 150. i would suggest at least a hundred dollars for a drill so we'll add a hundred dollars on that okay okay so 500 for eleven hundred dollars um balls um and then that would kind of be it other than the medals in the ceremony so that would be one thing we want to talk about is whether we want to do the ceremony the same basketball with cheer which i think that we should because they kind of go side to side and side um, yeah it was fine last year when we did it all together it was easy yeah so i would suggest the same thing kind of with um 150 for end of season um and then we would probably need i would suggest 500 for medals for both for both so do you, so do you want to put do which one are we going to put that in? Just the basketball or the cheerleading one? Or, or, or is, are they combined? Or? We I know, can but combine. They... Okay. We can combine it in oh. the budget. It doesn't, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we did have it separated. I mean, but if those are the numbers, you could say 250 for one, 250 for the other, because combined it'll be the 500, is what I'm at, like, asking if we're going to do that. Well, basketball is much bigger, so I wouldn't do the half and half. Um, I would either so combine it or do less for cheer and more for basketball. Yeah, I would do 150 for cheering and then the rest. Well, for although we had what 20 yeah, we had 22 last year. So I would say yeah, do more for the basketball. So do you want to just do one lump sum budget, basketball and cheer? And just I think that, I think that doesn't matter. Put a notation, 500 uniforms, basketball, and then X amount for uniforms and um, pom-poms for cheer. Um, let me just look. Basketball and cheer. Uniforms. So registration for basketball and cheer was 1,245. So I wouldn't go over 1,000 for um income for both and hold on uniforms for cheer so we have uniforms for cheer with 67650 jenny do you yep. remember how many uniforms that <coughs> gave that gave us um probably about 24 uniforms and that was the whole uniform correct that was right that was the sh well that's the thing is that was only the top and the skirt but i it would be nice um if we could provide the turtleneck spandex things to go underneath just because they're little girls and they like to flare their skirts around and how much do you remember how much those were did you you were the one that actually went and looked into this stuff didn't you no nope, that was actually abby because um i wasn't i was i coached it but i didn't really have any say oh, you weren't on the board then okay no i was i was on the board but she was in charge of the oh she uh, was the liaison okay yeah so do you have any idea what those were price-wise 
the uniform or or the undershirts. Yeah. The spank. Um, the spanks we're looking at probably about um four fifty, maybe to six bucks a piece. We want to budget in for those, everyone. I mean, are they are they necessary right now or I mean they're not necessary. Um, I mean, we last year I had the girls get their own white shirts and I had them um wear stuff underneath it. So it's not a necessity. I would rather have all matching palms than that. Okay, I, so let's do the palms and yeah. see how much the palms were. Yeah. The palms were sixteen bucks for a pair. Okay. And we got how many pairs did we get? I think we got 12 last year. And then, so we had half old ones and half new ones. So we probably need about 12, I would say a dozen more just to be safe. Well, you said we had 24 girls, right? We had 22 or 23 of them last year. So I would probably go higher than 12. I'm afraid that that's going to be on the low you side. You want to do 14 pairs or 16? So 16 times, let's say 15. 16. 240. So why don't we say 250 oh. for pom-poms? Yep. Does that sound good? Yep. All right. Um, so medals for both. So we got 500 for balls, 500 for uniforms, 100 for drill, 150 end of season ceremony 500 for medals for both and 250 for pom-poms yes and are the uniforms for the cheer included in the basketball uniforms of the 500 dollars, or are we putting more money into the uniforms for the cheer we don't need any more uniforms mm -hmm. um we got all new ones last year how many Beautiful. did we end up buying jenny we bought ones for the whole team and we have one male uniform so we bought 20 i think we bought a total of like 24 uniforms so we probably should put something in because if we end up with more more kids yeah kids then we're gonna need more uniforms so i would go up with it was okay how many uniforms did you say you got um i believe that we got 24 uniforms and then we have one male uniform. so cheer right. uniforms were 1072 last year mm -hmm. so just say 1,000 divided by 24 uniforms. So they were about 40, around $42 a piece. Correct. Yeah, because we, we got them. Um, yeah, because when we ordered them, um, we we tried to match the old skirts, but they weren't the same. So we had to end it up, ended up just buying the whole new uniform. Okay, so I would feel comfortable putting in 300 for you more uniforms that would be 40 that's what if you figure 50 a piece i mean everything's gone up since two but years then, yeah it's gonna be two years now so if we figure 50 for a uniform um that's six more uniforms yep at 300 so then we're yeah. at 20, so we're at 2300 dollars then for basketball and cheer as it stands with those yeah, and we'll just we'll we can just separate it ourselves so we can explain to them that we have it separated for cheer. And we could always use a little bit for if we had more cheer than basketball, we could always mix it up, you know. That's what we did last year. And I also had we also had people us I think we had like four sponsors for cheering last year. Did we? I don't yeah. have any income for sponsors for cheer. Really? They must have all went down for basketball. No, I have no incomes for basketball either. Really? No. Because um, John and um, the Hobarts are the ones who were going to sponsor us, and then there was somebody else who wanted to sponsor us. So I, I don't know if Abby never went through with it, or I have no clue. Yeah, we didn't get any income for um, sponsors for anything other than um, soccer last year. Right. Well, I was thinking because over the summer, if I did a little um, cheer program like once a week um, during the summertime, that that would bring in some extra income for the wreck. Sure. 
Okay. So basket so basketball just do basketball chair com, combined 500 for basketball uniforms 500 for balls for basketball 100 for drill 150 for end of season uh party 500 for medals for both 250 for pom-poms and 300 for uniforms for chair yeah you can 2300 then um we are in Income maybe a thousand for income, or do you want to go down to eight hundred? Last year the income for basketball. Hold on, you told us twelve hundred and forty-five. That's about sixty-two kids if it's twenty dollars. Yeah, Let's see if it's the same as soccer. I don't know what the registration costs. What's that? I, said I that feel would be about sixty-two oh. kids if. if it's... Mm. I feel comfortable with a thousand, just going down some. Yeah, okay, that's, that'd be about 50 kids. That's that's good. Combined for, for the both of them. So income would be a thousand. Okay. All so right, we'll be basketball's asking. done. Soccer, uh, cheers done. Next would be baseball. All right. Um, baseball, they have 3,539. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tw basketball was 2,100 for expenses and 1,000 for receipts for last year's budget. Um, so it was 1,100 that would, would have been in the budget that would still be usable if we wanted to purchase anything. Um, I looked at baseball instead of basketball when I came up with the 3500 on last year's budget. Um, baseball, I think that was pretty high because the year before they wanted to buy a batten cage. And I know right when COVID started, um, John in Abby were trying to actually purchase that, and I guess it just never got done. Um, I'm not exactly sure. This, once again, doesn't show exactly what they um, were going to use, but with if I go back to, give me just a second. Um. Baseball, we bought shirts, but we did not buy pants. I'm not sure if that was in the budget for this year to purchase pants. Um, but that's something that could be done if we wanted to. Messenger kids video. Shoot. Um, <laughs> kitchen screen, it was... The batting cage. Some kind of strength training batting kit. Um, a pitching machine. Those are some of the things that the people last on the last um, board wanted to do. So I don't I don't know. I was unfortunately I was not at last year's meeting for the budget. And I didn't watch it, so I'm not sure exactly what was. I don't know anything about, about baseball not. either. So we bought. Did we buy even buy shirts for baseball? We bought. I don't shirts think for we did. And we bought. I think last year and this year, in the grand scheme of things, we were planning on 
doing baseball, like we were trying to phase it so it wasn't so much for the town all at once to get all new uniforms. So I think baseball was going to be last year and this year. Right. And then COVID happened and then nothing ever came of it. So, right. And we don't even know, we're probably not going to have a baseball season this year. I'm taking it. Well, baseball this year would be the spring. Yes, that would be In this year's budget or the this year's 20... budget, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, do we have anything allocated in that budget? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. But it doesn't say what it is. Okay. It's. Oh, my mind's gone. Sorry. Baseball, so it was $3,539. They have down that they expected to get $1,200 in um, income. So if you take the $1,200 um, out for the income, they got $2,339. We could go ahead and try to buy uniforms now if we wanted to, or... We put that into next year's budget. I mean, I don't, I think uniforms, if we're going to buy uniforms, it seems like we're, that's one of the staples of doing this year. We might as well try to see if that, if we can get them from the same place, maybe the more we do, whether it's a different sport, they might give us a discount or something. I don't know where they got them from. So we got I wouldn't be sure. We got place in Rochester. Um, Colin, is it Collins? Uh, yeah, it's Collins. Well, I would see maybe if, if even if they're different sport uniforms, if we buy all the same time, if they would give us a little bit of a discount or something, or like the more you, you get, the less it is or something like that. Because if that's the case, it makes more sense to just get the uniforms now if we could save a little bit of money. I don't think Collins does that because they did they no. outfit for all the towns in the school. Oh, okay. Much. Okay. It's like the one that used to be in Sanford there, uh, played again, or I don't even know. Yeah, okay. But I don't think they, but yeah, good thought. But, um, oh, what's, well, I, I think, I, I think uniforms would be the only thing that we would get with the budget this because anything else would be if they played the sport this year, which we, we don't know if they are gonna like. Um, so. We can try to, do you guys want to try to get money? Why don't we see if we can, between now and the end of the fiscal year, try to get uniforms with that money. Is Jen back? Jen Rue? I haven't heard her. When, okay. is, when is this budget due the date? Is it, what was the date again? February this what? This budget, this bud first. February 1st? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. I think we should get the uniforms too. I don't think we should get a batting okay. cage or anything else they budgeted. Because none of us know time? anything about it. <laughs> right. It mean, doesn't make sense if we had a season, but if we're not going to have a season, then those wouldn't be used. So. But we should have a season the following year. Yeah. Right. Do you guys need me to go get Jen for you? If she's, um, well, I just did, could you ask her if she got an answer from the selectmen as to us actually spending the money this year for? She's in what, that uh, meeting now. She, she, she said it oh, should be fine. Down. She said what we should do is come up with what we would spend and then she would get the amount that we ask approved, I believe is what she said. So go over, right. she should finish going over all these things, come up with our numbers and then present it to them and then they'd give us whether or not they'd be approved, that would be approved. So, Right. She said she was going to try to see if they were out of their meeting and she'd get back to us. But so. Do you know how many uniforms we I need? Have and no how much idea. They Let me see how many. Basketball. I don't even know. Let's see what there. And I don't even have how many people for basketball. I mean baseball. Um, how many people even signed up for baseball? 
Do you have the number of revenue, I guess? No. Oh. No, I don't because it. I started as. Okay. After the baseball season, that we didn't have the other's baseball season, so unfortunately, I don't. Um, I say you we try to go with this budget, and, I'm not really seeing anything. and I could try to call a couple of people and see if they know how many people signed up for baseball. Hi, Hi Jen. Hi, sorry, I'm kind of back and forth. So I don't have my camera on, but I've got David here too. I'm gonna to see if I can turn it on. Um, so I did. Oops. Oh, there we are. Hi, David. Hello, guys. Get away. Sorry Hi. There. We had uh, something else we had to take care of. No problem. So, so the board um, does support um, some purchases. You know, they're not going to, they don't want to give you a specific number. Just present to me what you think you might have for sport, and the board will take a look at it on Wednesday. But there was definitely some support in buying okay. some of the equipment items or maybe uniforms that you already planned on. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Was there something else, Cheryl, said you needed me? No. Um, did you? Yeah. Oh, never mind. So go ahead, Dan. Sorry. I was going to say, would you happen to have any, uh, I don't think you would, but any of the numbers for baseball the previous year? That's what we're stuck on right now. We have no information about baseball. So I have the amount that that um, you were looking mm -hmm. for. You asked for the $3,539, and you expected $1,200 in receipts. Um, as far as you want to know if I have a line item of how you came up with that number? No, do you have like just even the revenue that baseball made the previous year so we can estimate how many kids signed up? Um, so I can, can get, I, yep, I can get that. It's going to have to go back to the prior year since we didn't do it in um, yeah. 20, but give me a couple minutes. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want me to that, mute it? That will give else us there? an idea of where to work on um, for uniforms and stuff well, we want to go for this year. That can give us a base to estimate, I guess. And also, if they had twelve hundred, they expected twelve hundred. Um, then that's expected sixty people mm -hmm. signed up. So we could go on that number also. Um, and then uniforms, but I don't have any idea what baseball uniforms would. No, I'm trying to look on the the Collins Sports Center, but I'm not seeing any numbers or anything. Just yeah, I feel like you have to reach out to them. I would think mm -hmm. if we just did shirts. Then it would be similar to the baseball, uh, bas uh, soccer, sorry, and basketball for that matter. I feel like I don't know what material they use. I feel like baseball might be a little bit more costly depending on the materials because I feel like soccer and basketball, when I played this, the materials that they use is quite different than baseball. That would be my only concern, I think. Okay. So that's why I'm a little hesitant for the for the baseball because I remember when I played baseball and I, I like you know you know I went through the the acting system and the rec system so I don't know if that would change the cost of the uniforms or not. Yeah, and they were still using the same uniforms you guys used. <laughs> Two years oh, ago, that's why we started buying new uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I thought so. <laughs> um. Let me just see here. I've got Collins. Let me get just a guesstimate as to what Collins was. Hmm. I don't know if I have a breakdown. Come on. So fourteen. So they were like seventeen dollars a shirt for basketball. Okay. Um, oh, for basketball, not for baseball. Basketball. Hold on. I've got Collins invoices here. Um, oh wait, here we go. Here. Ooh. Shell. So the sheer shirts were twenty one, and the skirts were fifteen twenty five. 
They don't. Um, did you order pom poms twice, Jenny? Because I have eight pom poms at seven seventy five here. Do you know if they like did two orders for pom poms? Is Jenny still there? I don't see her. Okay, sorry. I don't see I her. Oh, yeah. Um, no. Okay. So what happened was, is that she ordered the first order and then we had, um, not enough pom-poms between the old pom-poms and the new ones. So she put in another order. Okay. All right. So, and then the soccer jerseys are fourteen fifty. So I would feel comfortable with those two prices, say in $20 a shirt, um, yeah. at 60 shirts. If we go with an, you know, sixty right now. Um, hey, anyone got a calculator? <laughs> yep. I lost my phone. Yeah, about twelve hundred. Yeah, about twelve hundred. Sixty. Mm -hmm. Oh, something in my head. So do we, we're going to try to order those now? I we, think so. We could go by, I have this um, for Colin Sports, what was ordered size-wise mm -hmm. and stuff. Maybe we could actually, you know, so if someone wants to sit down and like go through it and then try to come up with like how many of what size shirts to order. I can do that. I don't know how... Car I know Carol did it. I don't like she's got small, medium, large. Um, I could send you these and you know, you could look at it and get an idea as to how many of each size to order. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Um, and the same thing, let me see. I've got the, I don't know if the other one has a breakdown. Soccer balls were $11 a piece. Um, All right, uh, 20 count cans of field paint was $45. So uh, for each case, I think we went through two cases. So about $100. Oh, I was wrong with the amount. I said $200. It, was a, it should have been about $100 on that one. So we can change that. Uh, but we do need the paint for... Mm -hmm. Do we need paint for uh, baseball also? I, I believe they used a... Um, a chalk or something that they, they put out for the lines on the dirt. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm, so I'm pretty sure it's not a paint. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a chalk. Cause I remember that's something that they have to do regularly. I remember playing baseball. We'd always, uh, the coaches or whatever, always have to go and redo the lines after, after the game for the next team. Uh, no, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So what else? One thing we do need more of is helmets. I know that the kids, we had to take helmets off of some kids before they were. So I would recommend helmets be a priority over uniforms then, because that's a safety issue. Uh, well, like, we had to make sure the kids all new helmets. Um, oh, we did. Okay. But. Baseball helmets. This said five. No, there's no way. We had five. We had five for each team. Let me see if Colin Sports shows that too. Hold on. Sorry. I'll be right back in a second. I'm going to go Four ninety-five for soccer. So by saying five dollars, we were good. Um, soccer ball. Field paint, electric ball pump. I don't know what this is. It must have been a mesh six and a half high, 12 wide, too deep. That must have been the mesh. Um, soccer net for $110 that we had, we purchased two of those. For the big nets. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, 
All right, I'm back with a little bit of information. So I, without more time, I've done an estimate. So I ran rec receipts from March 1st of 2019 to June 27th of 19, because I guess in my mind, I don't think that anybody signed up for baseball before March 1st. And I don't think they would have signed up after June 27th. Does that seem fair? Yeah. We were still doing basketball in January, February. So if they're signing, if they're paying a fee after March 1st, I have to assume that basketball is already going and that would be for baseball. Yeah. Okay. And then I, I use June 27th as a cutoff. So rec brought in $3,554 in that time. But out of that three, somebody's writing this down. I don't have a calculator. I'm not at my desk. 3554. I can tell you that one, two, three, four. You had four sponsors at $275 each. Wow. Well, do we have a calculator over here? Yeah. In the sun? So we would want to take that off because that wouldn't be a revenue. Um, you know, that wouldn't be a, a child. I don't see one. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna anyway. Sorry. We had petty cash of 139. So we could probably take the balance and divide it by um the $20 to sign up. That's eleven hundred for sponsors. All right, so if we take Thirty-five, fifty-four, less eleven $1 hundred, and then we're gonna last one thirty-nine in petty cash profits, uh, and then there was a three hundred and seventy-two dollar revenue from Long, which tells me that that was probably no, that could have been sponsors. See, at that time we were still allowing people to sign up at the school, and somebody was going to pick it up. The Long so one, I believe, I believe that was the money for the concession. Okay, so I subtracted. That's a good call. It costs twenty dollars, right? So divided by twenty. So twenty dollars times twenty dollars. So three five five four less one hundred less one thirty nine and less three seventy two. All right. Nineteen forty. Okay, so. Even if we said $1,900 and we divided that by 20, that's 95 kids. And you probably had, how many teams of baseball you had? 95 kids for baseball? Well, that's based on the, well, but, but, well let me subtract that again. You also have a uh, some hit-a-thon money. So, all right, let's start, let's do this over. Yeah. 355, no. okay, 3554. We're going to, let me go down right down through it. Petty cash, one thirty nine comes out. Um, two seventy five from Ashco, two seventy five from Well Drilling, two seventy five from Hotel, three seventy two from Long, two seventy five from Lake Region because that was a sponsor, and then we had three sixty one for Hitathon, so that's going to come out. And then 237 came out for another hit a thon. So that gets you down to 13.45. And if you divide that by 20, that's probably closer one. to 67 kids. God, I don't think we even had 67, but. Well, it's the best I could do with short notice. But yeah. That's taking the revenues you have and subtract. Because because if you look at everything else, and I know that you can't see this, but all the other ones are $20, 20, 20, $40. So I know that those are registrations. Do you know what I mean? So I ran, I pulled all of your receipts for that time and subtracted what was obvious with big numbers. So, but do you know how many teams you had? Because we know that it takes what nine, nine to twelve kids on a team. So you might be able to figure it out that way. School two. Yeah, we did do kindergarten, first grade. We did what do we do? First, second, second, third, third, fourth. Six teams. I mean, always better to budget a little higher on, you know what I mean, on the amount of kids that you're hoping to, and you can also base it off the amount of kids in the elementary school. Six. Six times ten. Six times ten. Six times ten. Right. 
10 kids on a team and you did you field six teams yeah yeah so we were around 60 so that's where we came up with the 1200 and that's yeah and that's and i only came up with 67 so we weren't that far off my concern is with going that high is um a lot of kids with covid went to little league and sanford and stuff and i'm afraid that we're not going to get some of those kids back are you trying to estimate your revenues for baseball yeah. okay so i'm saying are, to go lower like say 800 for revenues instead of are you planning on doing the sponsors again or the hitathon don't know Ooh. that would depend on how active the board could get and if we could get more people to help us i think <laughs> I mean, that's my opinion. Um, yeah. So, no, I mean, you know, what did you budget last year? They budgeted for 1200 uh, No, I'm sorry. Hold on. I think 1200 Yeah, 1200 So, yeah, I mean, you know, take that down to, to 1000 I mean, the thing is, is that if you, you know, you can bring your revenue, your receipts down some, you guys didn't put in for any receipts on concessions. If you end up doing a hit-a-thon or you end up doing sponsors, you know, that all makes up for it. And there, if your baseball runs $100 short and your soccer runs $100 over, you're still fine. And the worst thing that happens at the end of the year is that if you don't have the revenues, that's just going to lessen the amount that you're going to that you're going to be able to spend. You know, if we ask to raise and appropriate $30,000 or we ask to raise $27,000 but spend... 30,000. If you don't get that 3,000 in receipts, that just means you'll, you can only spend the 27 plus whatever you have in receipts. Right. You'll be fine either way. Right. Okay, cool. Does that Thank make you. sense? As to me. What did you come up with for your, your basketball numbers for receipts? Um, or, or was basketball, was baseball the first one you did? We did the same thing. I went down a couple hundred on each. So we did a thousand for basketball and cheer together. Um, so that's a last year there were 24 kids for basketball, I mean, for cheer. And um, I think there were 48 kids, from my recollection, there was 48 kids last year for basketball. So um, I've been going on caution with not as many coming back this year and trying to go down just a little bit um like a couple hundred less just in case um for all the sports was what we talked about for soccer for basketball and cheer combined so soccer we did 800 income um last year it was a thousand or 1100 i believe thousand okay so basketball we did for basketball and cheer combined was a thousand um and now we're at baseball and we're thinking 800 for baseball yeah it's, i mean i don't think you're gonna have any problem coming up with those revenues because again we're not you're not um you're not counting in for any revenues for any of your concessions so you know what mm -hmm. i mean Right. So you're already dropping them by two to four to five hundred dollars. Plus, you have your concessions. Um, I think those are, you know, those are fair enough. We should definitely get those because if you get okay. sponsors on top of that, like you did last couple of years, you're going to have a lot more in receipts. Right. And remember that. I mean, the purpose of the receipts is to offset the the um, taxation number. Okay. So what we're going to try to do is see if we can order the uniforms. Now we're going to figure out what we need for uniforms, order those now with this year's budget and not include that into next year's budget. So our budget's going to be a lot less this year, I think, than it was the past two years. Okay. Um, do you have a rough idea of how much we're, just a, a rough idea? At this, not not yet, not until okay. we're done with doing all this. Okay. Once we're done, we can um, send you the numbers if you're not going to stay on 
line. We still have to do the yeah. ice rink and we still have to do um, the Christmas. Um, yeah, was what, that was one thing that Slackman asked me. Are we? Are you anticipating opening up the ice rink this year? I would say I no. I would like to, but I don't know if we can. What do you need to do to get it up and running? I don't know. I've never been on this job. I don't know anything about the ice cream. It would need to be, obviously, well, there's no snow, so that's good. It would need to be filled by the Acton Fire Department. Yeah. Yeah, and then, well, there's a well there now, too, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so all it would need to be is filled, and then, obviously, the maintenance if it snows, but it doesn't look like we're really supposed to get much snow, so it wouldn't be that hard to fill it. Do we know where the um, the ice liner is? So I know the town just bought well, I think just, I'm fly. a liner last year. Yeah. Um, I don't know where the liner is. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe a nice way to slowly, you know, get the rec, you know, kind of going with something for the community where they can, they can, wear, they can wear masks while they ice skate, right? Yeah. right? I think so. And it's certainly, you know, we're, we haven't hit our cold spell yet. We still got, you know, all of February, maybe something, just some little, but that's certainly your call. Um, I don't know if the someone just I and I don't know if this is true or not. Someone put on um what's up in Acton that the liner was left outside and I don't I, I just assume that we weren't doing it this year. So I have I didn't check with John. John actually called met, emailed me the other day and wanted to meet me up there to drop off the um snow blower that someone donated. Mm -hmm. um, which we haven't done yet, but I didn't ask him any questions about the liner. I certainly can ask him about the liner. I have a funny feeling, though, that the liner is not any good and you would have to purchase another liner. Well, because you know what happened is when they first put the liner down and everything is we kept, they went ahead and started filling it, filled it halfway, and then it froze over. We got snow, so I think the liner was just stuck under the snow and probably got ruined. Do we know what the cost for a new liner is? It was 400 and change. Um, well, you've got 1210 in the ice ring bucket um, uh, budget. I'm not sure. Is that something that you guys are even interested in? That's in not something that I can do. So that would be up to you guys. I'm interested in it. I know Lori and Carol both said they really don't have any, um, I guess, interest in it. But I, like you said, Jen, I'm interested in give, giving people something to do and kind of showing them that we're still around and trying to do stuff. So, I mean, I just would need to know what to do, but I'm, I'm definitely interested in it. I'm sure John can have that help us. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure if you and your family who's, who's are wonderful souls. and Yeah, and... I can get my boss, Tom, construction. I can get him to do anything. He he played Santa for us last second, and he right. sponsored, so I can probably rope him into helping us with some stuff if there's anything. I just I just don't know what there is to do because right. so I wasn't on the committee you, last um, year. Is my only. If it's okay with the committee, why don't we send Jonathan Botel's information to you if you don't have it, and you can call him directly. He yeah. handled everything last year, and he was great. Um, and, and just have a conversation, and then reach out to your other fellow committee members and if it's something you can pull off but if it's just a matter of you know getting the rink up there and the, the getting it filled you know maybe you know it'd be something yeah i would I'd, I'd appreciate that i would i'd be open to that if everyone else was fine I'm with fine that with, yeah i'm, I'm fine, fine with someone else doing it i don't have yeah. any problem with that but <laughs> <laughs> it's, yours, it's yours dan we'll see you next week in ice skating yours, dan. <laughs> I'm just going to need whatever his name is and his contact. That's all. I'm going to so send you an email. Glory. I know our okay, lake perfect. hasn't even been safe other than one time to, to ice skate yet. So I know. I've been, I, I see people out there and I'm like, what are you guys doing? No out way. There? Yeah. Well, if you fall through, how far can you fall in an ice skating rink? It's better than the fall oh. ones, right? Mm. True. That's totally true. Well, I know last year he did it all, it put, got, finally got it all put together, and then he got, he got so warm, unfortunately, he wasn't able, I don't think they got one open day on it last year. No, they didn't. Yeah. All right, I so, am uh, emailing you right now, Dan, his, um, and I've CC'd him in it, so. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. All right, so it looks like revenues, you said you were at about 2800 You're going to send me at the end of the meeting some sort of idea of what kind of numbers you're looking at to purchase. Um, yep. and I'll talk to the board. Do you have any other budgeting questions that I can answer or help you with? Um, just capital improvement. 
Um, one of the things that uh, what is was budgeted in this year was the parking lot that would I'd like to get the, done. Yeah. Do you have any idea if the diseased trees were ever Remote. taken? There were like four diseased trees that were supposed to come down and never got taken down. And I know that was something John was going to try to work on at the beginning of um, the when COVID started and for last year's budget, but I don't believe it got done. I don't recall seeing, a, I mean, assuming you're using one of the tree, tree companies that we've used in the past, because we would need to see the liability insurance and all that, you know, come across before they could take them down. I don't recall it, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I can certainly double check, um, double check, but I can okay. I'll throw that in my email with Jonathan as well. And then the other question is, is if we wanted to budget in for trying to start um, cleaning that back section out again that um, was all overgrown, that goes to one, the retention pond, and then two, um, I know last year with soccer, we had a big issue with parking, and the fire department had said that they um, would not allow us to park on the road any longer. And so as of last year, we the, there were talks of um, starting to clean up that back section that goes to the retaining wall, the second gate. Um, and I mean, they would talk, I think it, I came across something that said something about $5,000. But would that be like through capital improvement? Would that be... You can, I mean, you could do it one of two ways. I mean, we can, you know, see what your what your bottom line budget is at, and if it's if it's you know X amount lower because you you made purchases this year and you kind of spent a year getting ahead, then you may be able to do it under the same amount and raise and appropriate and leave your capital your capital improvement account alone. Um, but it really is going to depend on a quote. I mean, and with the budget's being due February first. I mean, we're going to need somebody to go over there fairly soon and and give you an estimate because certainly if, if something like that goes before the selectmen or the budget committee they're going to want to know how we came up with that number and you know right us guesstimating is not going to be you know, an answer right exactly but would that be would that be in the regular budget or would that be under the capital improvement i guess is where That's i'm okay. you can do it either way You're, you can do it either way yeah depending on how you depending on where your numbers fall um do you know what's in your capital improvement account I have no idea. I, okay. I, can, I, I thought at that. one point it was like 13,000 or something like that up till this year. Um, Let me see if I can find out for you. So what I'm, ex what I'm talking about everyone is last year with soccer. So when I was telling Carol earlier that the rec board had like a five-year plan, we were trying to, you know, they Everyone was gung ho and wanted to do a rec center and um, expand the rec quite a bit. Um, and then there is land past um, where the field is, but some of it's swampy land and some of it's not. There's a retention pond there that's part, supposed to be cleaned out periodically. Um, and then there is an area on the opposite side of the field that has a gate to it. And at one point, I guess that was drivable that you could drive through to the retention pond. So last year when we had our soccer season and we were playing against other um, towns, when they came to play at our town, there wasn't enough parking in our parking area at the field and people were parking out on the road and the fight uh, chief said that's not going to happen again you need to do something different to um, have parking so at that point a couple of things they were talking about cleaning that out you know to be able to get to the backfields and see what we could do back there also and to do use it as ex um, extra parking so it's all if you if you know where I'm talking about. It's all overgrown and it would need to be taken out. Um, I don't know what like that what would. What are we talking about? Huh? Like how? What type of things is overgrown with? Like how bad are we talking about? It. I mean, 
it's pretty thick. So it's not huge, like, um, you know, wide trees, but it's probably a lot of, you know, under four inch trees that would need to be cleared out, but all brush and thick trees that have all just grown up over the years. I don't have any clue how much they're talking, but then there's also either three or four disease trees that oh, yeah. need to come down that are like um, on the 109 side, I believe. I don't even know which ones they are. Um, but that we had a budget of like $2,000 and I don't know where they came up with that amount. So those were the couple of things. John was trying to get the disease trees taken down before last year's budget um, was up, but I don't believe it ever got done. Okay. So, I mean, the disease trees are more a liability issue, and I think those should be taken care of ASAP. Um, but I don't know how to budget for that. <laughs> And those are the ones that we had a, um, one of the benches. I don't know if you ever saw the bench that's out there. The bench actually got crushed and part of the fence got crushed because one of the trees had fallen. Oh. So we had, a, we had lost one of the big aluminum benches because of it. So I know okay. they... The amount was two thousand dollars to try to cut down those disease trees, and I don't know who they talk, who was, you know, if they talked to a tree service person or 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 what. So, but but let's go back while she's looking that up. Let's go back to the basketball. Um, mm -hmm. So, basketball, we want to try. When I'm sorry, wait a minute. I don't forget where I'm at. I'm all over the place. Are we doing baseball or basketball? Not baseball. I keep saying basketball. Oh, okay. baseball. All right. <laughs> I was like, didn't we already do that? No. How much did I say that it was in the this year's for baseball? Do you so right? 3539. Does that make sense? 3539 minus um, $1,200. $1, $1, mm -hmm. So I say let's go with that for this year for uniforms. Are you it's writing all that down for the uniforms and everything that we're going to try to go to the selectmen to for this year, Carol? I was writing it down. Yes. So I have $1,200 now for baseball for the uniforms. Is that what you were thinking? For this yeah. year, or did you? I got a little distracted, but that's what I had written down was twelve hundred for the uniforms. For sixty Nothing shirts, got. twenty dollars a piece. What do we say? We said let's 60. figure twenty dollars. That's being on the higher times sixty uniforms with twelve hundred dollars. Okay, so baseball uniforms. Do you not do hats for them? You don't do baseball hats. Yes, um, that was on my list for. But that's something that they would keep. So that'd be for the next budget. That would be for the next purchase. So for, for the next uniforms budget. are for what we're going to try to get now before this budget yes. ends. Okay, yeah. and hand here for next year. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So hats. I don't know how much hats are. I didn't look. Um, let me see. I don't think I have any of that. I don't think I have anything for basketball. Thanks. What happened? No. I don't have anything through Collins for hats. Um, can anyone look up hats and see how much? Just a basic, like, plain hat. 
So that's where we could get um, sponsors for baseball. That's always an easy one because you can put the sponsor's name on the hats. Yeah. But we still budget for that, right? We still put in that we need the hats. Yes, yeah. We need to pay for the hats, but if we could get sponsors, the sponsors money could pay for Correct. the hats. The embroidery for the hats. Did so for baseball, it would be hats and socks or just hats? Are we doing shorts, pants for them too, or are they wearing their own shorts? Baseball, um, they wear pants. Well, their pants. Are they wearing their own pants or are we supplying their pants? I know there was talk about purchasing pants down the line, but that's something whether we want to do or not. Well, I think if they're going to wear pants, we don't need to buy them socks unless we get on baseball pants that are like knee length and then the socks go, you know, cover their calves or whatever. Right. Right? I would say this year, not worrying <clears throat> about yes. it. If we're going to go with just the shirts, okay. I think we do that and then, you know, see how things go this year and then reevaluate it is my opinion. Okay. So hats, did anyone come up with a price for hats? I'm sorry, I don't have my phone. The family came home and I had to leave the room. Um, <laughs> I have that we needed the shirts, we need the paint or the chalk, we need helmets, balls and bats, and hats. Is there anything yep. else we need? Okay. So the shirts are going to be on this year's, but yep, I would still put, I would still do a budget for shirts um, in case we need more next year. So at $20, um, I would feel comfortable putting $100 to $150 extra for shirts. I don't know. That's baseball. In, oh, do we go with the same thing for, for um, softball? Softball, if we're doing softball too. I know that was a big thing. One person believed that we should just go with the same uniforms and another person thought that the girls should have different uniforms because softball was like, um, I think fifth grade that we did. Doesn't mean that we're gonna be doing softball, but um, I don't know. So, I mean, how much, how many players do we have? Like. How sign up for softball I guess or like it was one team there weren't I mean I know it was very hard to get enough girls to play um and then enough boys to play for um the baseball team because it was split up but that year we had played against other towns mm -hmm. um and the girls had only had a couple of games with different towns. So, I mean, it was probably maybe nine girls. Maybe. I think we could, I, I mean, you know, I don't have kids in town or anything, but um, since we didn't do it last year and there's so few, personally, I think we should do without softball for this year. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm old fashioned. I remember growing up, we did girls and boys for baseball for rec. So I, I kind of yeah. agree with that. You know, especially if you think we're going to lose numbers because kids went yeah. to Little League anyway. Why try to uh, to fill it all? Right. And the thought was the girls didn't want to play with the boys at that age. And there was a person that wanted to um, coach the, the soft, uh, softball. So I guess, yeah, I guess we just do the uniforms for baseball. Um you know, and if we have enough and we want to do softball, then they this year they do that, and then we'll readdress it for next year if everyone's right. okay with that. And we can just say because we were afraid the numbers were going to be down that the kids yeah. were going to go somewhere else. I mean, I think that's right. fair. Okay, so we don't really know what we're doing. You're like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just say it's <laughs> I would go with. Um, 400 for the trophies and or medals and the 150 for the um ceremony for the year for ceremony the ceremony also 
Okay. Yep. All right. So that's that. Um, and balls and bats. Do you have any idea on that cost? We did buy all new balls and bats. So if it's anything, I put a hundred dollars in for balls. Probably. Okay. Um, we bought yeah. new. Um, I believe new goalie gear. I, I, gosh, I just can't even remember what else. Is everything in that, is everything in the building down at the town hall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm there. I would have gone through the whole thing. Okay. That's why we went to the building in the town hall because um, at the rec field, everything got full of mice and that's what started everything getting repurchased. Gotcha. Um, so there's like... <laughs> Buckets for balls for each team. There's bags with all the coaches' stuff, um, bats and balls and everything um, for each individual team. So each of the coaches had their own um, balls and bats and helmets. Um, I would like to purchase some more of the helmets. Um, and, I mean, I'd say... Can we do helmets for this year? I don't know if we have enough money for helmets for this year. No. And I don't even have the amount for Collins for helmets. Mm. Um, I thought we had thirty-five, thirty-nine this year in this year's budget. No, thirty-five, thirty-nine minus the twelve hundred. So right. it's okay. So that's thirty-nine, three, two. Thirty-five, thirty-nine minus twelve hundred. About a little over two thousand. Yeah, we have a little over two thousand. Twelve hundred dollars for the uniform. So let's, yeah, let's put in for helmets. Why don't if everyone's okay? Let's when we go. I don't mind meeting to go down there with someone and see what we have. Um, are you guys all right with you know just? Whoever goes and does it, make an educated decision to like do one extra helmet for. Uh, I yeah, I think I think helmets I'm are necessity. I think that's something that is a good thing, similar to uniforms to kind of get. So. So Carol, can you put down helmets along with the uniforms and that we're going to buy this year? Yes. Okay. And then you'll just give me an amount or what? How, how much do you think helmets are? Should we take the um, extra? Two, well, 12, 22, 1200. So we have like a thousand dollars after we pay for the shirts. So do you want to, you know, how much do you want to put in for you, uh, for the helmets? I mean, some of them are looking like, you know, 15, 20 dollars per helmet, it looks like. So, like, say, do you want 10 helmets? I don't know. Um, yeah, at least five more helmets. Um, so do you yeah. want to put six more helmets because they should be like probably one, two, three, four. Like I would say six helmets. Um, so figure they're twenty bucks a piece. So put in a hundred, put in two hundred dollars for helmets. Yeah, put in two hundred for helmets. For I like year. that. Yeah, I think this one's good. Okay. Do you yeah. want me to keep those figures, add them all up when we're done, and send them out to you? Yeah. And then you can run it by, we can run yeah. it by, make sure it's right, and before we send it to Jennifer? Yep. Okay. If, um, and then, yeah, if you'll have them separated for, per what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. All right, awesome, thank you. Yeah. Um, and are we going to put anything in for helmets next year, too? Baseballs, we need potty. Oh, we need the potty. So the porta potty is $70. Yep. Okay. So we've got medals, ceremony, um, balls. balls. I would say projected income potty. 800 on that. Yeah. And then hats. Did you find hats, Dan? Um, it's kind of hard because baseball hats like a such a generic thing. So some of them are coming up as like, you know, 40, 50. But I think those are like those fancy ones that you buy. I can't find ones for like... Caps. I'm Bulk, sorry. I, I mean caps. How about baseball caps? Socks? How much do you want to put down for the chalk? Do you think for the lines? Holy Moses! Do you have that on your? No, um, I don't have anything in baseball, voice? unfortunately. Wow. Okay. You know what? Wait. Oh, my basketball budget. 
Let's see. Is Jenny still here? Yeah, I'm still here. I think she is. I think she's. I think she's just on mute oh, right God, now. <laughs> can you hear me? I can now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just don't have my video because I'm like, Addie's taking a shower and. No, that's all right. I just, I didn't, I don't, I see the three. I don't even see you on there. Like, ah, she skipped out. No. I I'm seeing anywhere from prices for like 182 to 297 to 499 um, for baseball caps, I guess. Oh, okay. So if we figure five times, what's 60? 60 is what we were. So. 300? Yeah, put that down. And how about the chalk and the paint? Do we have any idea about that? I have no idea what baseball chalk. Is that what we use? Let's see. Know. I think guideline, Abershawn Haas athletic field marker, it says it's like 1349. Field chalk for Amazon is. 35 or for 50 pounds 41 for oh lime i think that's what is lime in the budget in the oh, 2019 nice. or 1819 one nice. limestone or whatever right. that must be what lime it is was to do the field the grass yeah, but lime, they do the line you're right they do line for baseball fields and that's cheap lime yeah that's what they do. They used to do it for the um, baseball fields and the grass because it wouldn't hurt it. This is five ten dollars for fifty pound bag of mock and chalk. Yeah. I would put for under under the the thing that you gave us the 2019, 2020, They have um, under the baseball they have lime spreader for eighty dollars for expenses. Oh okay. Oh for a actual spreader. Yeah. Oh, oh, spreader. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what. It, oh, the yeah, lime. They have eat. that then. Then, do know. you think we have that spreader for? Do you think we have the thing that puts the line down for the line somewhere? I'm pretty sure I saw a spreader in the. Um, but it's got to be a certain one because you've got to have it so it's just like a what a four inch line instead of yeah. a spreader that you're spreading. Well, that was from the 2019-2020 budget. I, I mean, the, the sheet that Lori sent us um, a couple of days ago, so I don't know if they actually got it, but it says for... Ex I don't know. I'm sorry. So that's the only problem. So we just don't if know you go down about. there to look at what kind of helmets, will you look and see if there's a spreader there? Yeah, for sure. Oh, the and helmets are not... Yeah, the helmets are in the... The spreader would be at the rec field in the... Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Never mind. Okay. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I could go down there at some point, but so do you we either have to budget it in or we don't. Well, we could put it in this year as if we still have enough money to put it in this year if we. True. Right. Me too. So right. can you put that on this year's? So you want the spreader, right? Mm. The, the lime spreader or whatever that um, line. I'll put a line spreader. I know there's a line spreader that they put, they put the paint down with. But I mean, I can ask my husband if he knows. How much do you think a line spreader would be? Eighty dollars? Is that what you saw it budgeted for? So put a hundred bucks for that, maybe. Yeah. All right, a hundred bucks for that. And then just put fifty dollars for the athletic athletic field marker for next year, because that we're not going to buy that now. We would buy the spreader now. Okay. Yeah. So put for that, that for okay. now, and then if we don't buy it, we don't buy. It. I mean. Okay. If we already yeah. have it, it's not going to be a problem with our budget because the money went. Yep. And what about are we putting any helmets down for next for this year's budget? I know we're going to get helmets, two hundred dollars worth of helmets, for, with last year's budget. Did you want me to put any down for projected for um, this coming budget we're working on? I don't think so. I would just put some more uniforms just in case we have extra people. So. Do the same thing maybe with uniforms and do 500 for uniforms. Okay, so 500 for this year. You know, I'm going to have to go back over that with you. Um, so this is this year's yep. budget when we end. Okay, got it. 
Because on the other ones, like for basketball, I put that we're going to get the uniforms this year, and that was $500. Is that what we decided we were going to spend this year, right? Um, I didn't separate them. That's the problem. The balls it's we're going to get this this year. Okay. I'll just send that stuff out to you. And if you guys have anything to correct before we send it to Jennifer, we'll do that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. But what's on this year's for the budget for basketball? I put, well, I put that we were going to get the uniforms this year and that it was $500 we were going to spend. That's what I had. And 300 for cheer. And nothing for next yes. year? I think, see, I think I didn't write that part down when I was doing that. So yeah, I have 500 for uniforms, 500 for balls, 100 for drill. Me too. That's what I, but I had 500 that for next year. For next year, for the, for the 2020, 2021 budget, I have the 150 for end of season, 500 for medals, um, 250 for the pom-poms. Were we doing the cheer uniforms this year or next year? Next year? I oh, yeah, for next year, cheer uniforms would be 300. So those right. are for next year. That's what I had too. And I have the basketball uniforms this year for $500. Did we put any for this, for next year's budget? Did we put any extra? Because I didn't write that down. I only put $500. I think That's the basketball, I don't think we did anything for this year for basketball. No, but we're going to buy them this year. I, I thought, thought we were going to buy them this year. Sorry, what? Didn't we do the balls? The balls for this year. All right. Uh -huh. so just Balls of this year, uniforms for next year? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't have that written down. Okay. So, so $500 for the, balls. For the balls then for this year. So the balls we're doing this year and we're not doing. Okay. So balls, then I didn't have it right. Okay. This year. No, so no, the I, I had the, the uniforms. Multi purpose, the shorts from soccer for basketball yeah. as well. Yes. Okay. And the basketball uniforms we're putting in this year's budget, we're not buying them this year. Is that correct? That was more for in over in case we needed more next year to put something in the budget. So we had something to fall back on for next year to buy more if we had okay. an abundance amount. Is were, what we, I, were we doing the drill this year? The drill for the following year because that was, well. Okay. So the only thing for this year is just the balls then. Everything yeah. else is the next year. Okay. Okay, then I had that wrong. Okay, so I had that. Okay. And the cheer no, I had it down to the cheer. The cheer we're doing all next year. The soccer we are doing. Mm -hmm. the, we're we still the had, we had, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? For the uniforms for basketball, we still want a cushion in case we have extra kids that we could. I had, I, okay, so my understanding was we were going to buy the basketball uniforms this year, but now we're doing the balls, which is fine. So I still have for the uniforms for this year's, next year's budget, $500, right? Is that what you had, Dan, too? Yeah, I had 500 Okay, for the uniforms and we're not doing that this year. We're doing that for the budget. The balls we're going to buy. And then for soccer, I have that we're buying the shorts this year. And the goal. That might not even be enough balls. Hold on. How many balls does that get us? 500 figure, $15 a ball. <sighs> you come in. Yeah, so you're you said 25 balls. Oh, sorry. 25, I believe it was. What's that? You said you were, 25 um, balls. The balance on, your, on the account is $26,514. That's the... Um, capital. capital improvement. Thank you. All right, so you guys, um, we're going to be um, closing down here shortly. Dan will handle your meeting, but if you have any questions, any of you can reach out to me tomorrow. Michelle will be here, and she'll be here. She can double check some of the numbers that we've kind of pushed around. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good night. You too. Oh, and uh, Daniel. 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 Huh? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Jonathan already replied Hi, with a phone Daniel? number that you can call him at. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I see it. Okay, perfect.
So that's 25 balls. So right. normally the kids are out on the on the court. There's there can be two teams at a time. That actually, I guess that's enough. This, yes, that's how I figured it. Yeah, I think we're good with 25. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. So can I just ask you about soccer? I have for soccer mm -hmm. uniforms this year. Yes. We're going to do 800, I have $840 and goals. I have 840 as well. And goals I have is $1,800. Wait, um, are we doing goals? Are we not doing the goals this year? Possibly. Gonna... We're going to look into that, we said. Okay. okay. So you know what? I'm just going to send you what I have and then we can all do it by email and straighten it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we can all say, what did we say? Okay. <laughs> That's how I feel right about now. <laughs> no, it's getting a bit much. All right. <laughs> yep. It's a lot to do in one night. Yep. Okay. So. Um, Wasn't there one other thing we had to go over? We got a couple more things to go over. Okay. <laughs> for basketball, you mean? I mean, for baseball? Yeah. Um, or are we done with that? No, I'm sorry. I have Can you have for baseball one more time for the this next budget, Carol. Okay. okay, so for next budget, I have uniforms for for next year for the budget we're working on five hundred dollars, yeah. paint and chalk fifty. I don't have anything for helmets for the following year. Balls and bats one hundred, hats three hundred, medals four hundred, ceremony one hundred and fifty. Port a potty, seventy dollars. Okay. Um, and if you want to put anything in for helmets next? You were going to go check out how many helmets we have. I thought. Right. Yeah. You that's what. That on. I okay. don't think we need helmets for next year because we shouldn't need new equipment every year once we get. Okay. Yeah. And I crossed it it's off. Just so I did more to, to. You know, um, but you do have baseball. Balls uniforms, and bats for hundred dollars. Uniforms for this year. Uniforms for this budget we're working on five hundred. I have twelve hundred dollars that we're going to spend this year on new shirts. Perfect. Okay. Thank Helmets you. Helmets at two hundred and a line spreader at a hundred. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think that's it. All right. So the next thing is the ice rink. Dan's going to take care of it, right? That's for this year. Right. We still need the, the budget for next year. Oh, for next year. Yes. Um, so John's proposed ice rink budget was $1,210. I would go with that budget. <laughs> was, that <laughs> was that including the lining? That did include no, the lining, yes. Okay. I think you might have to get a new lining every year. I think so, too. I think you I should think figure I'm, a new liner okay. every year. I think you're right about that. Um, so, so let's just go with that budget. I, uh, De uh, Dan, you want to talk to John and find out what he had in the budget, just so we have an idea. Um, yeah. There is money in there if we need to get a liner Lining. this year, if you're going to put it up. Um, uh, we There was, uh, the first year that they did it, they had to get the bushels of hay because that's what the... Um, it's no, the insurance company wanted. And then insurance. last year, I think they did um, the sandbags. noodles around it instead, just for safety reasons. And I believe that the insurance company agreed that that would be okay. I don't know where the noodles are, but there's enough money for that budget now that we can get whatever we need um, for this year. And then next year, I mean, I would just go with that budget. Yeah, me too. He's, he's the one that's been doing that for the couple of years. And Dan, you should have dad, that. you should have dad go take a look at it, Daniel. We'll talk, we can talk about that later, Jenny. Right now we're focusing on the budget. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> well, I, I'm, I kind of want to just move on to stuff. Like, so <laughs> that's stuff we can talk about in our own time. Right now, I have to work early, so I'm just trying to get this through yeah. this right now. All right. And I have a key, Dan, for the um, shed up there. That's where all the metal pieces are. I mean, not the plastic pieces are. So I could always meet you guys up there sometime, too. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll let you know once I talk to you. Yeah. 
Ah, da, da, da. How about okay, field so, maintenance? Huh? Field maintenance. Field maintenance. So 1200 for electricity. I would just go with these numbers. Um, last year was our first year really with the electricity. Um, but do I see that from the 1920 budget that that was $11,000 for the field maintenance? So we had talked about putting bathrooms in and they came up with an amount and then started researching it and realized that the amount was a lot less than what we really needed to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that some of that's gotten, wasn't, on, so what you're looking at here is the minutes of the meeting, but there was behind the scenes stuff afterwards. Um, so that did get changed, I believe, when it went to, from what you're looking at here, it's got changed from what um, it was when it went to um, the town for approval. Okay, so it's not going to be anywhere near $11,000 because that's no. very high to me. Okay. So last year it was 5000 for the tree cut-in, which is the tree cut-in for... Um, which we're going to trade with, okay, yeah. The tree cut in for outback, not for the diseased trees. And then it's $26.50 for mowing, that I know is a fact. $2,650. It's okay. um, the same person that's been doing it forever. And then okay. electricity, $1,200. Um, and then we can put in $5,000 for tree cutting and then see if we can try to get some sort of a guesstimate or estimate. I mean, even if we could get some of that started, it would be wonderful if the town would approve that. Um, so is that something, is, is the tree cutting something that we could take out of our capital gains that would make the town happier? We, if we take it out of the capital gains, then I think we still have to have it on the budget. Oh, okay. I don't know. So that would be something that. Oh, because they have to approve it, taking it out. Have, they still have to approve. The town has to approve to take it out either capital gains or from our budget. So we could ask gotcha. Jen that when we go to her with the budget. So okay. just put that down as a question mark, question mark, capital gains it. or budget. Okay, got it. And I don't know if that was actually part of, I believe, I mean, they put it in for that budget. So that was $8,850. Once we add up all these amounts, we may need to uh -huh. tweak it a little bit too. If we're way high, okay. we might need to tweak it. Okay. Um, so we could always take out that at that point. Okay. Um, so what they had under capital improvement was $2,000 for loam and topsoil to level the field, but that got done with, some money that was left over from last year. Um, okay. So, and then 2000 um, for spreading and seeding. I don't know what that means. And then 12000 for bathroom. So that well, was probably the 2000 was the, because they probably spread new grass seed and they lined it and they fertilized yep. it. So that would probably be field maintenance. I would think you'd right. have to so, do something of that there. I'm, I'm not sure exactly in. what got done and what didn't get done, but... Um, okay. But that uh, field maintenance would have to be done every year with the lime, you know, and fertilizer and stuff. So I'm going to put $2,000 down for that. <laughs> I don't think have it's to do something. been done every, every year. It has been? I would no. hope so. No? Okay, no. cool. Okay. I haven't right. looked at it. I've never been there, so I have no idea what it looks like. Yeah. No, it... it I think at the beginning it might have been, and then it, for a while it wasn't. And I don't know if that's something that has to be done all the time or not. That I would think so. That's but. foreign language to me. So, but okay, um, yeah, I would put something in there. And then um, anything else on field maintenance? So that would be that was under capital improvement. Oh. Sure. Oh. Okay. 2000 for loam topsoil to level the field. That was all capital improvement. So that's okay. why I believe it was, it's not something that's done every year. Okay. All right. So. How about concession? That's what I see we have to do. Concession too. 500 startup. I would just go with the 500 startup plus concession. Okay. And then 
Um, I'm going to see other. Hold on. Sorry. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Now, Lori, yes. you and I had spoken about um, that they had a director on here and had budgeted $2,000 in the 2019 2020. Oh, and did you say the Board of Selectmen took that out? Because I'm just wondering. I don't know how you guys all feel. I know Lori and I feel like this is a lot of work. I don't know if we shouldn't try to put a director back in <laughs> or somebody. I, I feel like right now is not the time to worry to about it. that because okay. we're trying to get through COVID. I think after, once we get numbers back up and figure out where things are going, and I think once you can kind of all the budget stuff, like finalize and put it on stuff so we can like see the, what's going to be yearly stuff, I think that would be a good time to discuss. I do think it would be okay. important to have because then you have the point of contact. But I think right now we should just focus on getting through this fiscal year and getting right. the next one figured okay. out. And then after that. Okay. That could well, possibly be something that they could put in afterwards too if the select choose yeah. to do that. So I wouldn't worry about that right now. Okay. How um, about my swimming lessons? Okay. Yeah. We can go. Well, <laughs> let's go with swimming and then we got one more after that. Okay, so swimming, I will just hope that I hear from her. Um, and Dan, if I don't, I'll let you know, and maybe you can get hold of Andy. Um, but she was going to yep. check those couple of things for me about Mousam, Mousam Lake, Mousam Lake or the um, pool. Um, and hopefully I'll hear that, and then I can just email you guys what I hear, and maybe we can stick that in the budget as well if we're all in agreement yep. doing that. We can't do that behind closed doors. We have to put it in the oh. budget. You can't just email back and forth about that stuff. You have so to- we talk, So should we put it, put something in it now? If you want to do it, it has um, to be in the budget. Okay. Is the, the, it has to be 10 day notice for a meeting, right? Yeah. Right. So Could we, we do just a quick, we can't do a quick meeting on Sunday. That would be 10 days, wouldn't it? Like get as much as we can now, but then just have those like make it a really quick meeting on Sunday where we go over. Yep. We can look up any numbers that we don't have because sure. I think would be ten days. I can do so that. So we can have every we can have everything have finalized. Then the or not. What'd you say, Lori? I don't know if we can do a Sunday meeting. Why not? One time we were two? told we couldn't do weekend meetings. Oh. I don't know if that's changed or not, but that was a while ago. Okay. I wonder if Jennifer okay. could give us an extension to February 3rd, and then we could have a meeting on February 1st, if that's that Monday. You know what I mean? Well, what are the select will meet? Is, uh, David Winchell, are you still there? It's Dan, I think, is the liaison. So David is not here. Uh, this is Dan Krampus. I'm just running the meeting. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so I mean, because when, when did the when did the select I'm meeting? concerned, if we're you guys to wanted have to this... have a meeting on a Sunday, I could host it as long as Jennifer approves it. I don't have an issue with that. It just needs to be approved by Jennifer. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. Um, so I'll get I'll email Jennifer. Yeah, because I think if we can do that, then we can come back. We'll have all these numbers down. We'll have them in a file. We'll have one last second to go over everything and make sure we have everything. Anything else we can't get, we have that week to check, double check, yeah. get all that stuff finalized. And, um, and, and if we do it, we're going to do a Zoom meeting anyway, because yeah, I'm yeah. here. So I'll ask, email Jennifer, ask her if we can do a Sunday meeting. Um, Dan, Town of Acton, what time would be best for you on a Sunday if you're willing to do it? Um, I can anytime. honestly. Oh, anytime? Okay. Anytime okay. afternoon is good for me on a Sunday. Okay. What about everybody else? Can everybody do an afternoon on a Sunday afternoon? I can. Lori, you're holding yeah. your head. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, I'm just holding my head because I have a headache. <laughs> so what time should I ask um, for her to do or just say afternoon and she can pick the time? I mean, I say know. noon, that's fine. Is noon okay with you, Dan, Tanner, Acton? Yeah, noon would work for me. Noon? Okay, so I'll say ask her for noon. If we can do that on Sunday, is that January 31st? Oh my gosh. Yeah. But she also said that she wanted to get, she could help us like 
tweak it too, and she's not going to help us tweak it. But if we, if I send you all this stuff and, and we all go over all the notes we have now, yep. Yep. we can make sure they're all, all right, we get them all right, and then we forward that to her, yep. and she can help us tweak it even that Sunday. It does that have to be a public meeting? That's <laughs> not a work day for her, though. She could tweak. I think if we send it well, like we have have the the next to the couple days, yeah, she maybe could we it. could tweak everything else up to the to the swim part. Swim, yeah, okay. that's what I'm yeah. thinking. That's what I'm saying. When we go, we only have the swim, and then any last minute right. thing that we think. That way, we have everything presented, and that way, we can just submit it that night and they'll have it for that Friday. For that I mean, Monday. the other thing is, we could come up with three thousand dollars or thirty five hundred dollars to put for swim lessons, and and be done with it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that I don't think that would look good to the voters of Acton. The, the <laughs> voters of Acton. Okay, but I mean, then I, I could... think we need a little bit more information before. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I will um, I'll would... email her, and then I will hopefully that woman will get back to me. If I don't hear from her, I will call her next week, and I'll get a hold of Jennifer but... and see if she could do Sunday. With that being said, why don't we put something in for swim? In because I know that's your baby. That's something you really want. So let's put something in proposed swim in case we can't have this meeting. Okay. So, um, Could we do? I don't like know what that. So I guess with swim, like I know at the Y, I did swim with my daughter years ago. Um, you just paid X amount of dollars at the Y. Um, the yes. instructors didn't get paid very much at all. I think back then they got paid like $10 a class. So maybe what I should do is go on that website for a proposal and see how much it costs per person. Oh, we have to do it now, don't we? Okay. The thing is, is that I don't think... It's going to cost all that much to have swim. If people sign up for swim, I don't think it's going to cost. We have to pay for the instructors, but even if it was $25 or $50 of a class in an eight-week class, I don't think we're talking a whole, I'm not, I don't think we're talking $3,500. I think if we put in conservatively $1,000, we might be able to do something because we don't, need, yeah, I, we don't but, need anything for swim other than a, a certified instructor. Um, we don't need bathing suits. We don't need equipment. Right. We would just, if we had to rent the Y or if they had to, like, I know oh. the team, I think it was Shapley, I think it down somewhere, does it. And they, um, they charge their, the residents like $20 for swim class yep. and go to the Y. You know, I'm not opposed to charging like you do with baseball or something. I think that parents have to pay something because otherwise they well, may just say, I'm not going, you know, sign up and then just not do it. Um, so that would be the only thing. Um, oh, I thought you were talking about doing it like at the foot of the lake or something like that. Well, so there could be what you, there's the options. So the, my okay. options talking to the YMCA was at their pool or at like Mousam Lake. I mean, Camp Nutter would be ideal if we could get that, but I haven't been able to reach anybody gotcha. there. Okay, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. I thought you were talking Camp Nutter or um, or or Mousum. Um, Yeah, so I don't know and, how much it would be to... Right. Hey, Carol. Oh, you're not on Facebook. Never mind. I was going to say, you could post in the Acton Facebook group and be like, does anybody know a contact for Camp Nutter or something like that? Because someone in the acting group might have some information, I guess. Oh, she got someone for Camp Nutter. She's yeah, there, I got somebody. Them. They're just not answering me. Um, okay. But there is a, you know, I'll try again because I did just send something out to her. But there was a number listed there. So I'll call them tomorrow. I will call. Mm -hmm. So do you want to put $2,000 in for swim lessons? Do you think that's enough or do you think it's not enough, Carol? Well, I think that I, you know, I, you know, I don't know how many kids are in this town. I don't know how many kids' parents would do it. I think what I was looking more for was like a summer 
swim program, not a swim program that's going to take them year round, but maybe a two week yeah. swim program or like a if, swim camp or something. Right. So, I mean, I think if we can start with anything and say it only pays for 20 kids, then those 20 kids get in. And that, cause I don't think the first year is going to be overloaded. And then the mm -hmm. following year we increase it. You right. Know, that's kind of what I'm looking. So what I'm do thinking. you feel is comfortable number asking for? You want to ask for 2,500? Okay. And if it gets 20 kids and it gets 20 kids, if it gets 10, you know, whatever, I can't imagine. We would still gonna... offer, I mean, and then we could still do the projected income of $20 per child. Correct. Right. So let's ask for 2,500. Danny um, and Jenny, are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> and hopefully right. we'll still have that Sunday meeting and I'll have information by then. Yeah. Sure. Okay. But, and we can tell Jen that when they help us go over the budget. Correct. Okay. Um, now you said something else about senior citizens or oh. adults or... <laughs> so, well, we you know, I'm playing, like, I play pickleball at those... Um, those courts, you know, behind the town hall. And one of the women that plays said, you know, years ago, um, they used to have a volleyball, adult volleyball league at the elementary school. And they used to have adult activities. Um, and I don't know if we can use the school. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't if they had, you know, rooms. I know they had that big room. And if we uh -huh. wanted to offer things like that, now certainly, if you were going to do a yoga class or aerobics or whatever, you could charge the people. But I think the town hall would allow us to do stuff probably in their gym. I mean, in their, not in their gym, in their hall. Right. I um, think I, so for me to be able to do something like that, I mean, Acton does have a lot of, uh, has a big um, retired uh, population. Yeah, you know uh, that I don't know if we want to tap into that as well and offer a class or two here and there. So, with uh, that being said, Jenny, you just put something up on Facebook about adult, Zumba. some sort of adult classes. She was talking about Zumba. Zumba. Oh, okay. Is that something yeah. you do, like you teach that, or is that yeah. separate from yeah. the? No, I would teach. I would be teaching the class. And so what happens, though, is I contacted John Ross to see if I was able to use the school. And he said it's a no-go. Um, I talked to Jen Rue. She said, as of right now, no one's allowed to use the right. town hall. Right. Um, so I was looking yeah. into the springtime, um, when it's not, like, so muddy, about offering it either at the rec field if there's no other sports going on or at the um, school um, maybe one or two days a week. It, outside. Right, correct. Uh, let's see. She's, she's when I'm, so you're what I'm talking about, Jenny. Somebody like that, you know, to offer it for adults or whatever that mm -hmm. could do that. Um, and I and had a she would have to... But that's stuff that we could offer without even having to budget for that. Yeah, I agree with okay. that. We all agreed to bud to offer that if you want to teach a Zumba class, you know, for eight weeks or three weeks or whatever it is, then you know, we all just have to agree that, yeah, Jenny's gonna do a Zumba class and it'll be posted. Then, okay. That would but be so more revenue. It could be just something that we sponsor. But say that Jenny says, okay, I'm going to do that. And she's figuring, okay, I'm going to charge people $5 an hour or whatever, $5 a time. And then one time only four people show up. That might not cover her cost. That's my concern. So if you had like $500. So uh, I don't know how that works with the rec, whether we can have someone just charge. That would be revenue for the rec, not revenue for the person doing it. Yeah. But somebody has to pay Jenny then. Unless so unless I unless I got my own and because I looked into this already. So if I was under my own insurance and not the Rex insurance, I can charge people and make the revenue for myself. If I use the Rex insurance for it, then I have and then the revenue would go to the Rex. But you would then the Rex would have to pay you. 
Correct. I think that's, I think that's something, that's something I think we would have to discuss with the selectmen more so than, yeah. I don't know if the selectmen would, would have that under someone's own private thing, or if that would be under the rec or not. Um, okay. Cause the other thing, like I thought of too, is like during the COVID time when people couldn't do anything, could you go to the, um, you know, the field and get a movie screen and show movies at, yeah. different things at the library. And so sure. that stuff doesn't have to be budgeted necessarily. No, we right. Just, okay. All right. There's all those types of things that we could do that we would have all have to agree on that through another meeting. But that's a, there's a lot of stuff that you can do that doesn't cost anything. And you could so have a concession people, stand and actually make money for the rec. You know, okay. You so we could do a volleyball league, or we could yeah, do you could do all something. that type okay. of stuff if you want to do it. You want to run it, and that you feel that there's something that you want to do. Yeah, you can. You we okay, think great. But the no, sky's the limit when it comes to that stuff. It's just a matter. Of I know. Getting people but, to. But do if it. I wanted, if I said, okay, um, I'd like to get you know like uh, yoga once a week or twice a week um, through the rec. But you couldn't do it through the rec because that would have to be budgeted. That would have had to go through this budget, is what I'm saying. Yeah, so if that's I could, something I think would be for the following year. We would have to talk to yeah. Jen. I mean, we could start doing. Um, someone was just telling me that they played kickball this uh, last year out at, on the rec field. Yeah, Called yeah. me up and said, "Can I use the rec field with some friends?" And it was like, "Yeah, the rec field's open, to, so anyone can go use it." So, right. you know, if you wanted to put a football, a, a kickball uh, game out on a Saturday and you put it out on the rec board and say, hey, we're doing kickball on Saturday, it doesn't cost anything. You could have this concession stand open, someone running the concession stand, you might get a little income from for the rec and you have a game, you know, I mean, you could do okay. it strictly for right. senior citizens, you could do it strictly for children, you could do it strictly for adults, baseball, softball, I mean... It, any of that type, right. that stuff can definitely be done, but that okay. doesn't necessarily have to be budgeted in unless, yeah. you know, and when it comes okay. to like hiring people to teach stuff, I, that's, we never did that when I've been on the rec. So I, I think we would have to talk to the selectmen about that and how that all transpires. Okay. Because I think so that, that meant licenses and everything else and uh, liability and all that type of stuff when people are being paid for different things versus Well, correct. And you need the insurance. Okay. So there's right. a lot now, of different... Right. And and that's I, why I, pick, I would have my own insurance. Right. Okay. So, Jenny, then I can just pick your mind when we get further on this about how to do some of that. Yeah. Maybe, it's the same thing with the cheer camp, too. Okay. Like if I did like a four week cheer camp over the summer, so can we or something for the kids? That would be all revenue. Can okay. we? That, that would be all. Gonna, can we finish? Yeah. Can we finish the budget? Yeah, and then I we'll really. Get, uh, we'll get yeah. it. That's stuff you guys can talk about on your own off off the meeting. But we've been on here since five thirty, and we we do have a deadline. So I'd rather get the important stuff that now that we agree that that's something we'll do in the future and and finish okay. the budget. So with that, all sports yeah. supplies. Can you guys write this down? Ice packs and first aid. Um, I would go for first aid kits. I don't know what's left for first aid kits, honestly. At one point, we purchased a whole bunch of first aid kits. And from what I see, there's only a couple left. So um, I would say probably ice packs. I looked them up. I mean, they're like 20-something dollars for 24 of them. So I... I we're talking for each sport. I would go for like two hundred dollars for ice packs and first aid kits for every. Okay. Okay. Whistles. Um, there was a twenty-four pack for um, like, uh, uh, I mean a twelve pack for like um twenty-five bucks. So, um, I'd go with fifty dollars for whistles. Um, for basketball and oh, soccer. We're not going to. We're not going to reuse those whistles. No, 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 no. Especially so, no. <laughs> okay, so is that going to be enough? That's my question. Because if you, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because it's only the coaches that need the whistles. Yeah. I would have you think about six three. teams per sport if we're that lucky. Okay. It so only be, we have three different sports. And it's so you usually just need only basketball and um, 
soccer that we use in whistles okay. for anyways. Okay. So 50 bucks for whistles. Um, how much did I say for ice packs and first aid? 200. 200, yeah. Um, needles and pumps. Um, I think we need a couple of hand pumps. We did buy an electric pump, but um, we need kind of a couple of good bicycle pumps. One to leave at the um, school and one to leave at the rec field. Um, so I would say like 50 bucks for needles and pumps. I think we should get be able to get that done with those. Um, and other than that, I don't have anything else on my list. Does anyone else have anything? Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, Oh, and I'm sorry, one more thing for the ice rink. We need the uh, porta potty on the ice rink also. Oh, yeah. So $70 we, for porta potty. But, yeah, but you just said the budget 1210. We were staying the same, right? I'm so sorry. We didn't, really write, we didn't really write anything down for that for next oh, year. Oh, yeah. The, so that 1210 might have the porta potty in it. That Well, right. So I guess that would be if the selectmen want to know where we came up with that number. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 So it'd be $500 for a couple hundred for noodles, 500 for whatever. So just so we could explain it to them if they need be. Because we have to present this to the selectmen at some point too, you know. Okay. I'll be back. And then, <laughs> and then um, is that it for, is that it for sports? I think so. I think that's so then, it. Oh, and then tree lighted. Oh, Tree lighting. Yeah, that's all we have is a yeah. tree lighting. Okay, so tree um, lighting, I would say $500 is a good start place for us. I mean, we only spent 200 and something the last time, but we need new lights. We need, um, we need lights, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, we spent under $300, so I feel comfortable saying 500 for tree lighting. Um, I think that... I'm comfortable with that. Without, okay. you know, doing a complete breakdown. I think it's enough. Yeah, because we get a lot of the stuff donated. Right. You know? Okay. So. And that would be. So I think 500 is good. Snacks, drinks. Um, mm -hmm. Crafts. And lights. So other than that, that's all I have that I can think of. Um, I think I think that's everything. Sport and then it's. Some extra stuff. Pretty, good, so. pretty darn good people for uh, being a brand new wreck and not knowing what we're doing. <laughs> when and having nothing from the previous year. Hey, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> When's our next wreck meeting? We don't have one scheduled. Oh, uh, well, we're going to try for Sunday. Yes, we're going to try for Sunday. If not, then. Okay. Um, so. I, I don't have a problem present once we get this stuff up. I'll, I can call Jen and go up and sit down with her and go over it with her or whoever we need to go over with it so they can, you know, tweak things if they need to. Um, the only other question is, do you have the list of the amounts that Jen wanted for Wednesday's meeting um, for what we're trying to ask for to have them do this year? I have that list, and I'm going to send that out to you. I'll send it out to you guys tomorrow. Okay. Um, and then um, you guys need to look at it before we send it on to Jen, I think, just to make sure yeah. I have, because Dan and I were writing down the same thing. So yep. I just want to make sure it's right before we send it to her. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And um, I don't have a problem. I'll send it to her, and I will uh, I can go over the budget with her and show her where we came up with the different amounts and compare it to what I have for last year and the year before too, so. Okay, so look uh, for it. I hope I, I, you sent all that stuff through me to emails to me, right? Yes. Lori, so I can just respond to that email with everything. Um, yeah. So I'll get that out to you guys tomorrow and hopefully we'll get that together over the weekend. Okay, and the other question is, are you guys all okay with me contacting Will Langley to see about the couple thousand dollars for the, um, to, Take care of parking lot. Okay. You know, and yeah, when, yeah, you call, when you call him, Lori, um, this is just a suggestion. 
Um, I know they sell hay as well, and I don't know if Dan, if he gets the ice skating rink up, if he's going to need hay. So maybe while you have him on the phone, just ask him if he has any bales of hay that <laughs> we need for the ice skating rink. Do we I mean, need I hay? Well, I, if, if I, don't know. I, I don't know. That's something no, we're we have, You don't want the hay. The hay was a big mess. Okay. It was covered in mold and everything else afterwards. That's why we pre pressed okay. and pressed and pressed not to do the hay. It was okay. bad. They, right. they, okay. they, yeah, they had to beg and plead to get someone to get rid of all that stuff. It was, yeah, it was terrible. So we don't want to go with the okay. hay. And, and the email that I send out, I'll also send out an email to all of us um, asking Jennifer about Sunday's meeting, the 31st. Yep. Perfect. I mentioned that Dan had said he would host it for us. So I'll send that out too. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. All right. Yep. I say we're done. Let's uh, join. All right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.